Nightmare Road, The Brave Escape. The story opens on a dark, misty night. A group of four students, Timmy, Sarah, Emily, and Jake, are waiting at a deserted bus stop. Suddenly, a bus appears out of nowhere, its headlights cutting through the fog like beacons. The students exchange nervous glances, but board the bus anyway. Um, excuse me, Mr. Bus Driver, is this bus going to take us home? Oh yes, little ones. This bus will take you home, eventually. The bus rumbles to life, its engine sounding more like a growl than a purr. As it begins to move, strange whispers fill the air, sending shivers down the students' spines. Did you hear that? What's going on? I don't like this, guys. I think we made a mistake getting on this bus. Relax, Emily. It's probably just some weird sound effects or something. Let's just sit down and try to ignore it. The students take their seats. But as they do, they notice something strange about the fourth seat. It's occupied by a shadowy figure with glowing eyes and a twisted, ghostly grin. What? What is that? Oh, don't mind him. He's just a passenger like you. Well, sort of. The figure suddenly transforms into a horrifying, monstrous face, causing the students to scream in terror. Now, now, children. There's no need to be afraid. He won't hurt you. As long as you behave. The students huddle together, trembling with fear, as the bus hurtles through the night, its destination unknown. As the bus continues its eerie journey, strange things begin to happen. The windows fog up with ghostly apparitions, and the seats seem to shift and groan as if alive. I, I don't think this is a normal bus ride, guys. I think we're in trouble. Don't worry, Emily. We'll be fine as long as we stick together. Suddenly, the bus lurches to a stop, throwing the students forward in their seats. Outside, they see a crumbling mansion looming in the distance, its windows dark and foreboding. Wait, what's going on? Why did the bus stop here? Ah, we've reached our first stop, children. Welcome to the haunted mansion. The doors of the bus creak open, revealing a swirling mist and the faint sound of ghostly laughter. We can't get off here. We have to stay on the bus. Oh, you can try, my dear. But I'm afraid once you step off this bus, there's no turning back. The students exchange fearful glances, but decide to stay on the bus, clinging to each other as they wait for whatever comes next. As the bus continues its journey, the ghostly figure in the fourth seat begins to speak, his voice echoing through the darkness like a whisper from beyond the grave. Children, do not be afraid. I am here to protect you. Who... who are you? Once I was like you, a lost soul trapped in this endless nightmare. But now I am something more. I am your guardian, sent to guide you through the darkness. But why are we here? What does the bus driver want with us? The bus driver feeds on fear, children. He preys on those who are lost and alone, trapping them in his twisted world forever. But you, you have something he does not expect. You have each other. So what do we do? How do we escape? You must face your fears, children. Confront the darkness within yourselves, and you will find the strength to break free. But beware for the bus driver will not let you go without a fight. With those cryptic words, the ghostly figure fades away, leaving the students to ponder his words in silence. As the bus rumbles on, the students steel themselves for the confrontation ahead. They know that their only chance of escape lies in facing their deepest fears. Okay guys, we can do this. We just have to stick together and believe in ourselves. Right, we can't let fear control us anymore. We have to be brave. That's the spirit. Let's show this bus driver what we're made of. With newfound determination, the students prepare to confront the bus driver and reclaim their freedom. As the bus approaches its final destination, they steel themselves for the battle ahead, knowing that their future hangs in the balance. As the bus comes to a stop, the doors creak open, revealing the bus driver's lair, a dark and twisted realm filled with swirling shadows and ghostly whispers. So you finally come to face me, have you? Well, I must say, I'm impressed. Not many have the courage to challenge me. We're not afraid of you anymore. We know what you are, and we're not going to let you trap us here forever. Oh, you foolish children. You think you can defy me. You think you can escape my grasp. I am the master of this realm and you are nothing but insects to be crushed beneath my heel. 
With a wave of his hand, the bus driver summons a horde of nightmarish creatures, each more terrifying than the last. But the students stand their ground, refusing to back down in the face of overwhelming odds. We may be just kids, but we're not alone. We have each other, and together, we can overcome anything. With a cry of defiance, the students charge into battle, their hearts filled with courage and determination. As they fight against the darkness, they feel a strange power building within them, a power born from their friendship and bravery. With a final desperate push, the students unleash their combined strength, banishing the bus driver and his minions back into the shadows from whence they came. As the darkness recedes, the students find themselves standing in the light of dawn, their ordeal finally at an end. With the bus driver defeated and the nightmare ended, the students make their way home, their hearts lighter than they have been in ages. Along the way, they reflect on the lessons they have learned and the bonds they have forged. I can't believe we did it. We actually beat the bus driver and escaped from that nightmare. Yeah, and we couldn't have done it without each other. You guys are the best friends anyone could ask for. Agreed. I don't think I could have faced my fears without your support. You guys are like family to me. Aw, oh, you guys are going to make me cry. I'm just glad we're all safe and sound now. As the students reach their homes, they bid each other farewell, knowing that they will always be there for one another, no matter what challenges lie ahead.